Hi guys, so today I have a new video for you sponsored by Tonic Studios. It is for their new designer's choice. I believe it's called Chai Tea Caddy. <laughs> um, I'll have the info in the description box there. So they did send these items free of charge for my review and use. And of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission. If you were to purchase items to those links. So really quickly, some information about the designer's choice. As you saw, it came in this beautiful um, envelope, you know, mailer. Um, if you were to pick it up by itself, uh, you would receive it very much in the same kind of uh, packaging. It has reduced shipping that way and it's $19.99 and it's not a club where you would sign up and then every month you're going to get it. You're just going to pick it up as you would like. If um, you add other things to your uh, order, which a lot of times they come out with bundles and fun things like that um, in their sales section, uh, then shipping will be just the normal price for shipping. But if you pick this up by itself, it's a reduced shipping of $2. Uh, very similar in the UK also, the similar numbers there. Um, Okay, so this, actually, I have instructions. A lot of times I don't. So this is really awesome. So, of course, you'll have the instructions, too. Um, and so hopefully you can kind of see what we're doing. Well, we haven't really talked about it yet, have we? Uh, we have this uh, portion here that's basically going to be really the top and the bottom and things of your chai tea caddy. And then these are the sides, as you can see here. And... Um, these we're going to do some different things with, so we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, and the instructions already, it tells you to cut two of this, you know, two of that triangle there, and then uh, two of that hexagon, but with that little triangle cut out in the center. So you place that in the center. It has little areas so you can kind of nestle it in there and tape it down. So we'll do all these things together. You need four of this guy. Um, and then it says to make sure to keep the circular fallout dies from this cut. So like whenever we do make that cut, we want to keep this circle that comes out, these circles. I don't know if you can see that. There's a separate die right here. And then there's all kinds of decorations of stuff, of course. And then six of the little circle here that has like a little scoring. And then three of the sides. And then we're just going to put it together. Um, generally, whenever the, uh, you know, Tonic makes something that's like a box or something like that, it's very intuitive. How you're gonna put it together this one does have some different things going on in the top and bottoms here so we'll of course go over those together um so i'm gonna grab some beautiful papers and we will get started okay guys so looking at the instructions we need two of this shape and then two of the ones that i have the cut out and if you look at the um this here um we have a shape down here that we're gonna put everything on the hexagon and so I'm going to ba make the base out of craft card stock, so everything that's going to be like this base is going to be all craft card stock. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this part in craft or not yet, but I think I am, just to make it all the same, and then we'll dress it up with other things. So I pulled some craft card stock, and then I have the accent colors. I'll be using this classic card in candy red, the smooth card in black, and then some accents of this Sienna Treasure specialty or speciality card. So pretty. And so, what I'm going to do is take this guy and do two of these, just like this, out of the uh, craft card stock, just like they're showing. And then I'll do two more with this piece in it, so just this piece, and basically just put it down like that. Put some tape down so that it doesn't move. So we're going to do two more of those, right? So they have the hexagon plus that uh, inner triangle. We're going to do two of just the triangle. So we have this guy right here. So I'm going to get two of those cut. Uh, I'm just going to do the base part right now. They are going to talk about this little embellishment piece kind of after everything's put together. So I'm not going to cut that one yet, but I will use this um, really cool um, Sienna paper for that. But we'll talk about that in a minute. We need four of these guys. So um, that would be taking this piece and this piece all together so you can see you're going to have that shape with that uh, piece cut out that circle this circle gets cut out and then it leaves like a score line but basically what we're looking for we're going to keep these outside pieces for later but we also want to keep the circles so it says ensure you keep the circular fallout dies from this cut because we're going to be using them here so we want four of this we're going to use two of that inner circle later but just keep them all just in case <laughs> and then we need six of this little guy and this little guy um, 
is going to help us do a couple things. So it's going to do this part here where it makes like some thickness, you know, so that's why we're going to glue four of them together. So we want four for that and then two more for the very top. And I'll go ahead and cut those now all out of craft cardstock. So six of these all out of craft cardstock. And oh, our sides, of course. <laughs> and so I need three of these because they cut two sides at a time. It's hexagon, we need six sides. So I need to cut out three of these. Um, and I'll let you know, it's probably going to take up two pieces of the craft card stock, but we'll talk about that when I come back. So for now, I'm going to cut all these base pieces and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just want to show you what I have here. I have, um, so I did two pieces of this. Now, I wasn't judging, like, trying to conserve my paper. And so you don't really need two pieces of this if you look at the instructions. What I was thinking is you need the two for the base. And then if you want to pop another one in on the top so it looks nice, you know, from the inside. So... In that case, you would need to. They don't talk about that in these instructions. But I, So I just did one because what happened is, I don't know if you can see this square of paper. If I had moved up, where did it come from? It came from another piece. If I had moved this die up just a little bit, I would have had enough room. So two pieces of paper would have done it perfectly. But I wasn't really paying attention to that. So you know what? I was like, well, I'll just take one of these and make it into this guy. So we have two of this guy. Um, you don't need to keep these triangles but you know you can put those to the side for now um, so I have two of this guy and uh, that's another thing I kind of ran into a little bit of my paper but that's okay because we're gonna cover one up so even this one has a little notch taken out of it it's gonna be covered up like this so no big deal so I have two of that four of this so we have these four and then they're gonna have four circles that pop out of them we are only two of these circles but I'm leaving them here and then three of the sides right to make six panels and then I have the six um, little circles, like this, number six here. And then I have two of the triangles here. Okay, so to start, I'm going to use this, and I'll put these guys to the side. I always like to score things, so I'm going to go ahead and take a minute to score everything. This is some really nice, thick craft paper, so as you can see, it's very nice and thick. Now, if you want to take a bone folder and score go for it. Um, this is not a box. Sometimes with the boxes or something like an envelope or something you can go later and score it. Once this is put on here it's a three-dimensional object that we're not going to be able to score again later, you know, or try to flatten it out. So if you want to again use a scoring tool or bone folder, go for it. But for now I'm going to do all these just like that. Okay, so as far as I can see these are exactly the same one way or the other. Obviously they have a tab on one side so we do want the tabs to face the next one that doesn't have a tab right so when you glue them they're going to go like this. So, I'm going to put this down. And the instructions, they show to like glue down one flap and then bring the other one up over. So I'll show you what they mean by that. Like, let's get this guy. And again, I bone folded mine. If you don't want to bone fold yours yet or score them on the lines, that's up to you. Sorry about that. So whenever I do things like this, I always line them up real well. So that I know when I bend it, it just lines up nicely on that. And, you know, in the picture, they kind of have it like this. And then, um, oh, of course, I always forget to fold something. <laughs> I didn't score that middle one. Um, this one's going to go here, and then they show to, like, glue this one down. And then the next one. Again, make sure your tabs, you have a tab facing a, ta a non-tab, right? I can do it like this, and that would be wrong, so... I'm going to glue this one down. And again, I kind of give it a second to grab... And then I come over here and look and make sure I have it about in the right spot. That looks pretty good. And then again, tab, no tab. And let's go ahead and glue that one down. You can glue this in any way you like. I'm just looking at the pictures and kind of going with what they're doing. So that's number one. Okay, and then they're basically saying to do this one too. I'm just going to put glue on all of them. I always like to use a wet glue because over time it's going to be sturdier. It's going to last longer than a tape runner, but you know, do what you like. So now I'm standing that up, as you can see. This is kind of what I was saying. You can't really score them later, so. And again, I'll give it a second. Then I'll pick it up just to make sure it's lined up where I would like. And when we come up here, now you can put glue on this tab now, 
or just focus oops on see <laughs> we're almost there hold on it was almost grabbing I did get a question about that recently this grabs pretty quick and of course it takes you know about as long as any other glue to dry it's a little bit faster drying but it grabs on faster and that's why I like this stuff so I'll do the same thing with this one and hopefully you can kind of see the way they're lining up in here really nice and this guy I'm go right under here and you know I could have done again grabbing on while also doing the side tabs however you want to do it what I make sure is that I get glue right towards that edge just so it looks nicer and I kind of even gonna give it a one of these where the glue kind of spreads kind of mess with it a little bit so now I'm focusing on these longer tabs okay and I'll do the same thing for all of them just hold this hold that and give me a little bit of a massage <laughs> and then I'll put glue on this one and same thing hold it and then finally this one here and hold it okay and I'll be right back okay guys so I'm gonna give them a little bit of squeeze still a little bit wet the glue I haven't waited that long and I'm just trying to get that shape going but we're gonna square it up right now or hexagon it up I don't know <laughs> um, so step three is to put both of these guys on here and so basically what I'm gonna do is glue these together right now and then I'll glue them together as one piece on top so I'm gonna set this on here just making sure it's exactly the same because um, what happened is you place your own die so it's quite possible that you know let's see if it's better this way than the other way that I had it because just the, from moving the die from the one time to the other piece of paper you know changes up a little bit okay I'm gonna let that set up not bad actually I think again it <laughs> it grabs pretty quickly like if I try to separate this and unless I rip it it's pretty much done and then we're gonna let that help us set this up right here so that's again step three and I think what I'll do is put the glue on the tabs and that way it'll just grab on from there instead of guessing on the back of the other guy again right towards the edge and it's a pretty good amount of glue and we're gonna pop this on here it's so cool I'll show this to you in a second I just want to hold it but it's a nice size box so I'm gonna hold this for a little bit and if I want to get like my finger in there I can do that or get like a tool to kind of help me push up push the little tabs up you know against this I'm gonna let that set up and I'll be right back okay so we have that there I'm sorry about the lighting it just changed um, and now we're gonna glue the circle apertures on top of the uh, triangle apertures and so again we're doing four of these and do you want to glue them now like I did the other ones then glue them on top at once or glue them while they're here you know these are a little bit thinner so I think I am gonna glue them on the box itself so let's put some glue on here and I'll put the first one down and then basically just talk about how I'm just gonna layer them up so what this is doing is giving it some height so it's gonna make something for these circles to kinda of nest into you know because it's gonna be four thicknesses of this where on the circles it'll be two thicknesses of them and that just gives height sturdiness all of that I really like the way it does like an embossing from um, the uh, the die itself but we also have an extra decorative piece that we're gonna put on top of here so you're not gonna see that anyway so that's the second one and I'll continue on with the third and the fourth one exactly like this I'll just put glue stack it on put glue and stack it on and I'll be right back so I'm gonna let that set up put it aside but you see how it's like stacked up and then these ridges here or these sides will gonna are gonna be covered up in just a minute with another decorative piece but either way I mean they're just brown it doesn't 
bother me even if I were to leave them exposed. I did want to show you as we go on to this next part. There's this little piece here. And what I would do if I was going to use that is just cut one. Maybe two if you want to double side it. But cut one and pop it in between these guys when we talk about this right now. You're going to take two of these. As you can see, two of the circles. And we're just going to fold them in half. And I will give those a sharp edge. And I'm folding them so that the nice side is still like on this inside part because we're going to glue these together. But if I were to take that little piece that I just showed you and I would nestle it in between these two and let it grab in the middle and it'll have a little loop and you can put like a ribbon or twine or just add a you know little message you know um, we'll talk more about that. There's also a uh, triangular like gift tag in the set but we have this and they want you to put that on here so we can start there or you can start at the bottom up however you want to build it but basically we're going to put two of these guys together and you can decorate this now, you can decorate it after. Since I didn't decorate this yet, I'm just going to decorate everything afterwards. But as you see, you have this little guy. And then we're going to glue that to the very center. As you can see, there's a um, mark there so you can see exactly where to put that. So I'm going to let that sit for just a second. And then... Um, Again, it grabs pretty quickly, that glue. And if I try to move it right now, it's pretty much done. Okay, and then we're going to glue it to another one of these guys. Now, I am gluing this a little bit differently because I can tell on this craft card, there's definitely one side that's like more brown. There's another side that's a little grayish, a little different. So I'm gluing the wrong cut side to the right cut side. But you can still glue it like this if you wanted, you know right side to right side to wrong side should I say but since this other piece when when they pick it up this lid you're gonna see this bottom part might as well turn it around and make it look nice so I'm doing that with that guy and I'm keeping all this the same color again if you want to change that up go ahead so I'm putting some glue down right here and we're just gonna start with these guys and you're putting four of those so one Two. These are going to be kind of covered up anyway with these triangles, so I don't care if it's one way or the other. Three. If you guys remember, we made um, a paper brad basically in the um, little dresser. Uh, delightful dresser. This is kind of similar to that where you're building up space just with paper that helps it do different things so it's pretty cool. And then these guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these guys let's see. I want the right side facing down so I don't really mind if it's this way. I think I'm going to glue these together wrong side to wrong side. And you guys this is the basic construction and I'm going to show you exactly what this does. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> Basically what this does is it kind of locks in there or just sits in there. So I don't know if you can tell but this triangle is a little bit smaller than that one. Okay and then um, let's see. I don't know if it matters because we're going to put this on there look like that. And you know I don't think it really matters which way this is facing. So I'm just going to put some glue here. Actually make sure it's all the way to the edge. And we're going to place this guy right in the center. About there. I'm going to let that set up before I really play with it. Because if I pop it in here and turn it, it it's just going to might maybe come away. So I'm going to let that set up really nicely before we try to use it and I'll be right back. Okay guys, let's try it out. I did leave it for quite some time so you know, let's let up the um, glue set up. As I was holding this on here and I was thinking it's going to kind of screw on here, um, I'm just going to kind of bend it a little bit just so that it, it wants to go under these ledges. Does that make sense? I don't even know if it needs to happen but figure give it a little bit of help so you can see it's bent just a little bit out. So triangle, triangle. Oh, this feels so sturdy. And you're going to place it right on there. Okay. And now we're going to give it a turn. Oh, I'm scared. There we go. <laughs> I suppose if you turn it so much, it's going to be open again, right? Because the, the triangle will line up with the other side once you turn it. But look at that. 
Look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. So again, it's called like chai tea caddy or however, but um, it looks like a little sugar um, container, a little tea container. How cute is that? And I mean, it's not even decorated yet. Oop. Look at that. So I guess if I keep turning, I'll probably turn it enough so I can open it again. But let's see where that is right there. So again, because it's triangle, I'll just go right back to the other triangle shape. So cool. So a few things we're going to do here. Um, so you know I grab those papers. Let's bring this guy back. So I know you might think like, you know, I went with candy red. It's really kind of a deep red. And the black paper. And then this one, you know, just a little something else. I figure with the craft paper, a little something shimmery. So I was just going to use this one. And of course we can play with this now however it is that you want. The last thing is that they were talking about is to do this little decorative piece. And you know, we're just going to cut those out so we will do that. But I'm, I'm counting this as part of the decoration, not so much part of the construction. But it is part of the construction because it's going to cover these raw edges basically. So we need six of that and I'm just going to cut this out. I was going to, I am going to, from the Sienna Treasure. Um, it does have a a direction this paper in my opinion like as you can see like it has like striping that goes down like this so I'm gonna cut them all out so that they're up and down like that so six of those I might bring in some some more of that somewhere else in the paper but or in the project but what I was gonna do is black background and red topper and I wonder if that's what I still want to do black in the background red is gonna be right on there or do we want red peeking out and black on the top Let's do it that way. Okay. So red's going to be in the background. So, um, okay, so we have all these other pieces. And we have our Verso dies, of course, different ways to decorate. I like this one because it has a little notch kind of cut out for when this little guy pops in here. Yeah, that's kind of a cute uh, thing to add. This one's uh, just flat. This one will cut the mat. That's a little more stylized, again, with that lower piece I would say if you are going to use this one with the flat edges you want to pop that down first I think before you pop this on there because I'm not quite sure where this ends you know anyhow so uh, I'm gonna use this one and I want to see yeah they're exactly the same it's just a little bit different style and I'm definitely gonna use this guy this is like a lattice which is really awesome this one has more of like a scroll work look and so I will do this. We're going to need six of these. So six of this just on the red paper and six of this paired up together on the black paper. And of course when we do this here, we're going to tape that so they don't move the dies. That's just the sides in that little topper piece. Now we have all these different inlays and little bits that we can put on our lid. There's a full background this one they all cut out completely I don't know if you can see this this has its own edge so we have that we have this guy if you want to put you know again red in the background and black little topper bits or however you want to do it there's these guys that's just a full piece that has little dots um, we have this piece also that's just a full shadow this one also this guy I mean there's just tons of ways to use this um, you know uh, this one had uh, embossing so let's say you didn't even want to put another topper paper maybe on one of these circles you can run it through with just the embossing here and here and here I mean there's just lots of ways to play with it the die cutting um, or you can even have die cut one of these guys and then just layer it over the other one so it's just texture you're looking at. I mean there's just tons of ways to play with this so uh, for now I'm gonna cut the sides I'm gonna cut this piece here and let me think what do I want to do with the other We'll talk about this top bit in a second. So let's just do the box base for now, which would be the sides and that piece. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So these guys, again, I'm just going to score here on the line very carefully. And we're just going to glue these guys down. Oh, so pretty. Just already, just with that. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to take this little guy and just glue it down. I mean you're basically following that edge and then side to side here and it just covers those raw edges so I'll do the same thing you know take it all around the next one score it glue it right down looks like they match up perfectly and these guys of course um, 
We're going to layer these up. Not super thin, so I think, I don't know if I'm going to put glue on the back of my hand, but I'm going to put it on here. Have some nice edges. And then here I just kind of jot wherever I can. Put a little glue here and there. I'm not squeezing this, it's just whatever's on the tip of the bottle kind of gets on there. Yeah, that's nice. And that glue will dry clear, so I'm not going to fret too much over that. And if you wanted to pop this up on dimensional, that'd be really nice too. I'm just going to bring it over here just to show you kind of what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to pop this piece right in here. And pay attention left to right and then up and down, just giving it a little space. And I'll do the same thing on all the sides. Add that little topper, put this guy on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, look at that. So pretty. So um, as far as what we're going to do up here, um, I think I'll do red and black the same around this circle, and then maybe I'll do gold in here, that gold color, so that way it's kind of a little gold topper, you know what I'm saying, like around here, and it'll be holding this too. So with the red and black part, I'm going to use this guy. I'm going to cut it out three times for a red background, and then three times I will cut out this one. Okay, sorry, before I get ahead of myself. So yeah, so I'm going to cut this out three times in red. I don't know that these nest into each other. So I will cut um, three out in black, and then I will run this through. And I'll, I'll talk about that when I do it, so I'll come back and show you. It's basically just pairing it back up and running it through again. And like I said, there's, I mean, there's this solid piece, there's this piece with the little dots, uh, however you want to do that. Um, these little half guys, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just go with the gold. And I'm trying to think of one. You know what? I'll just do all gold with this one that's solid. So again, one for the top and one for the bottom, one for the top, one for the bottom. So I'll cut this one out four times. And again, this is that piece I was telling you guys if you had nestled it in there. See, it would have nestled inside. You'd have this little um, circle that you could add ribbon or whatever it is that you want to do with that. Um, but okay, so let me cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay, while I'm cutting these out, I'll talk about this. So I'll just bring this over. Actually, I have a nice little ridge there, but either way, I'm going to pop that down. I will tape it so it doesn't move. And then I'll run it through just like that. Okay, guys. So we have these. And I think it takes three of them, yeah. I just want to see if they're supposed to be like tight together or with a little space or how. So you can plan that out. Looks like they're going to go around pretty well, right? Kind of tucked in there. So I'm going to take this. Put that one down, giving it a little bit of space. Not pushing it down quite yet because I do want to be able to manipulate it a little bit if I need to move it. And this guy. About there. And this one. It's about here. So that's why I didn't push it down. I just wanted to be able to see pretty well where they need to go. I think we're good. So I'm bringing them more towards the center. Okay. Yeah, so they are kind of matching up. Meeting up here. Okay. And then these little guys, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Just so I can see they're a little bit smaller than this. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue there instead of on the pieces. But if you want to put your glue on your pieces, then do that first. <laughs> I just put a little bit because I can see that there's a space there. Okay, and I'm going to put these on both sides. Just like that. I'll be right back. Okay guys, look at that. Look at this. We got that going. Alright, and so we'll just pop this on here. I just want to make sure where I have it. Oh my gosh. I don't want to mess too much because this glue is still uh, wet on my little handle, so I'm not going to play with that right now, but look at that. Super cool. And before I uh, sign off here, I will definitely measure this for you guys. Um, the panels themselves, like the sides, are almost two inches wide. It's like one and a seven eighth. 
inch and three and three eighths tall and three and an eighth uh, wide here really nice it feels I'm telling you every time you just add all those different layers or whatever it is that you want to do the glue st sets up and like stiffens so then everything just feels like super sturdy <laughs> super awesome just awesome so thank you so much for watching I'll have the links in the description box I'll have some pictures for you here thank you so much Tonic for sponsoring this video and for sending these items for review and wow all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, it's uh, this uh, month's designer's choice. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.